did you know that there is a fracture every three minutes in this country? So by the end of this talk, one person would have suffered a fracture. Not only does this mean pain and loss of mobility for the patient, direct care will cost the government $7 billion over the next three years. Prevention is at the cornerstone of addressing this issue. But the question is, how do we identify those at the higher risk to fracture so that the right treatments are brought to the right people? The current use method is a scan of bone mineral density. Ideally, the higher the bone mineral density, the lower the risk to fracture and vice versa. But this is not necessarily true. There is an established evidence base to show that the highest number of fractures occur in people without low bone mineral density. So, what solutions can we construct to better predict the risk of fractures in people? Well, that is what my project is about. The goal of my PhD is to evaluate a new portable device that might better predict the risk of fractures in people. How will I achieve this? The best technique to gauge the ability of the bone to resist fractures would be to induce fractures on the bone while measuring how difficult it is to induce them. <laughs> on a large scale, this is neither kind nor feasible. But did you know fractures can be induced safely on a microscopic scale? In my project, I'm using a device called the Osteoprobe, which induces fractures on the tibia while measuring how difficult it is to induce them. How does it do that? Following the administration of anesthetic, the device makes indentations on the tibia and then on a calibration block. A software then compares the strength of the tibia to the calibration block. The reference is set at 100, so you get a score out of 100. And this score is called Bone Material Strength Index, or simply put, BMSI. Essentially, the more fragile the bone, the deeper will be the indentation and the lower will be the BMSI. But if the bone is just as strong as the calibration block, you get a BMSI of 100. For the past two years, I have been testing BMSI in men enrolled in the Geelong Osteoporosis Study and comparing their scores with their history of low trauma fractures, mostly of the hip, wrist, and spine. And what I have found is that men with a prior fracture have a significantly lower BMSI. So this technique may have a potential in identifying bone fracture propensity. In comparison to the current use method, my method is quick, portable, less expensive, does not use any radiation, and has the potential to better predict the risk of fractures in people. This will then allow the right treatment to be brought to the right people. Ultimately, this will reverse the current trend and improve the quality of life in Australia. Thank you.